that's super cute. Skane, hi. Is, is this your new podcast? Are you the co-host? Are you going to take over Miriam's spot? I'm going it's Skane. I got to worry all the time. Somebody's trying to take my job. Yeah, I, I like this. Things like this. Well, we have to say. Okay. Okay. That's what I do every time I pull up my leggings. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> so hike it right up. Okay. We're from a different direction, so I'm all for chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It'll be nice. Well, good. You ready to start? Is it recording? You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Aim it down. Did so you introduce you? I think we're still adjusting. Here. Right. That's better. Isn't that better? I think it's better. Yeah. Okay. Skin is just gonna pee all over, but this whole thing. Alrighty. Okay. okay. All right, we're ready. Live from Red Bank, New Jersey, Chelsea Arms is proud to present the Chelsea Pearl. <laughs> we do that in sync now. Yeah, yeah, we're getting good at this. I'm Miriam. And I'm Christina. And we are the Chelsea Pearls. We are the Chelsea Pearls. Um, you can find me on Ravelry as Busy Mom 07755. I'm also on Instagram as Really Mere Knits 2. And you are? I am on Instagram Chelsea Yarns. And I, on Ravelry, I am Misdemina. M I S S D M N A. <laughs> This is episode, we just went over this and I forgot. I think it's seven. Seven. Episode seven. Is it seven? seven? It's seven. Episode seven. We are on the other side of the shop. So I'm We wanted all to give you a different perspective. Sorts. Yes, I'm completely out of sorts. I know, it's, it's, it's strange. <laughs> it is, right? It's weird and, and it's just, it'll take some getting used to, but it'll be good. So this is the other side of the shop um, where we have... Uh, the Chelsea Lux. Yeah, our Chelsea Lux. We did the, we filmed, which you'll probably see either before or after this. We'll put it in where we were at the show because we were at the New Jersey Sheep and Wool Festival last weekend. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. Oh my gosh. Yes, it was so much fun. It was a lot of work, but it was so much fun. Yeah, see, I had more fun than you, you did. did because I was out running around. And I have to tell you, I know we've talked about the fact that last year it was 9,000 degrees and I think right. we stayed for five seconds because it was just ridiculous. The sheep were panting. Yeah. It was so hot. You couldn't think straight, let alone shop. And this year we had that touch of fall in the air. It was freezing. It was cool. People were wearing their hand knits. It there was, were shawls I would and admit hats my, and sweaters. My winter coat. <laughs> <laughs> That's how cold it was in our booth because we didn't have anything behind us. Yes. So it was pure. Um, I'm sorry. My dog is pulling my handbag across the floor. Oh. So it's moving. Anyway, sorry. Um, the whole back was open and it was a breeze. It was like a wind tunnel. My mom was so cold. We all we had t-shirts made yes. up that you'll see in the video that says Chelsea Yarns. It was so cute. So fun. We were just Bundled. I was wearing my fade. It was cold. It was definitely cold. Perfect weather. Though. It was. It was great weather. It Everybody, was so fun. It was great for knitters. Yeah. And got the chance to show things off. And I met so many people that came and said that they watched our podcast. Which so was really sweet. Yes. To hi. everyone. And people were noticing Miriam. They kept saying, where's Miriam? Or, <laughs> it was cute. It was really cute. It was a lot of fun. It was just yeah. like, oh. I'm a teacher and I'm used to like going to the mall or going out in public and hearing Miss Trail, Miss Trail, hearing from the little kids. But this was like grown up saying, Oh, I know you from the podcast. Yeah. It was a well, really maybe the Chelsea teacher. Yarns. The teacher. Chelsea Yarns. Yeah. yeah, that could that be a giveaway. Have, that would be a huge <laughs> giveaway. And Vincent. And then one, one woman said to me, Oh, I thought Vincent was Red Bank Mike. And my husband was like, No, I'm Red Bank Mike. <laughs> it was cute. It was really cute. We basically sold almost all of the yarn that we brought. And so you was, had so much yarn. Yeah, we too. did. I dyed a lot, and it was so fun. I mean, I I had anxiety Friday night. I didn't want to sell any of my babies because <laughs> I just kept thinking, oh no, maybe I should keep this for myself. And no, I'll keep it for myself. But we'll dye more. So we ordered a whole bunch more, and we're adding a few uh, new yarns to our collection for fall. So that that's so fun. Um, 
we we I am so we excited did it, for this. Yeah, I didn't I got it from Europe a little bit Ooh. too um not in time for the show, but I dyed so mohair. We'll put we'll insert clips. But I dyed mohair for um the birds of a feather. So we have this is Flying Finch, Miriam's favorite color. My and pink peony. My other favorite. Yeah, and we have the yarn to go with it. So it'll be in kits. We'll make it available, I promise, on the website and in the store. Yes, I can't so, wait. I'm yeah. so excited to make this. And I then agree. we have the new yarn. I don't have a skein of it, but everyone's been squishing and feeling oh. it. It's really beautiful. Oh my gosh. We don't know what to call it. Diane the other night was obsessed with it. Yeah. Oh, it was so funny. She kept sitting there and she would grab it. She'd say, what is it? I just want to know what it is. Right. What is it? And I said, it's I don't know. Beautiful. It is. It's so alpaca, silk, cashmere, and like every goodness into one. Okay. I want to come up with a name. And my uh, big Red Bank Mike and I went on a walk this morning. And we were talking about, I need to come up with a name for it. Because it's so squishy and warm. And it's ridiculous. And yummy. But yet it's very, it's very like lavish and posh and chic at the same time. So maybe you guys can name the yarn. Oh, Would that's that a good idea. idea. Yeah. That's a great so, idea. Whatever you guys come up with, we'll pick the best one. And then Do we have the skin? whoever is the, the winner, winner, we will pick a winner and you guys have a chance at winning and naming the new yarn. We'll insert a photo below so that you can see yes. it. We'll actually insert a little video so we can squishy and yeah, feel it. Yeah, I like to do the yarn video. Yeah, then. yeah. <laughs> so that winner will receive a Blue Sky 21 Color Mint Kit. That is so cute. Miriam wants it. I do. Every time we give something away, she's like, I think I need that too. <laughs> I have the chance to fight me. It's like, oh, but I wanted that. Yeah. Don't give that away. Don't give it Not away. Bad. I wanted it. So this will be the winner. So come up with your best name for this luxury, for this luxury squishable. squishy yarn. I'll put all the details below so that you guys can see it. But I think that would be a great idea. That's a great idea. Pressure's yeah. off now. It's yeah. on somebody else. Yeah. I like it. So we still, the winner of the 250 giveaway hasn't, she hasn't um, surfaced, so it's still up in the air. Maybe she needs to watch it. Maybe. Maybe she was out of town. Maybe she was in an area impacted by weather. Maybe. So maybe we should let it Hopefully go another not, week. Hopefully yeah. not. I hope not. So we'll give her another week to contact us. And so. then we'll have to uh, re yeah, re we'll have to do that yeah. again, I think. But we do have a winner. Um, Red Bank Mike is going to get a number for us, right? Today? Right now. Between one and what? For, I'll let you, uh, you have to tell me on the computer. Uh, the page is up. You just have to count. I don't... The random number generator. Ooh. I think there were 50... Was it 58? 50, 58? 58. Oh, see, I was right. All right, so... So one and 58. Generate number is 14. Uh, Okay, and so the winner of another prize that Miriam didn't want to give away is two skeins of the new colors of Wolfolk Fall Collection 2017. And our Chelsea Mixer hat pattern is... Ding, 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 ding. Somebody here called T-Ma. T-Space Ma? T-Space M-A. Oh, so and they said, hello, I'll be knitting a couple of sweaters and crocheting an afghan out of hands, but I oh. love the new wool folk. Oh, okay. there you go. T-M-A. T. Space. Space. M-A. You are the winner Yay. of the wool folk, and I'm glad you like wool folk, so you won. Perfect. <laughs> Yay, congratulations. So, oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can we talk fiber festival? Oh yes, we I have to talk fiber festival. I've been fiber so excited festival. to talk fiber So fiber Miriam fiber. got a whole bunch of stuff. She I actually in the ex I don't know if you'll see it before or after this footage, but she went around with the camera because I was working and I couldn't. Um, Next and year I will work. No, yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll make her work. from shopping. Yeah, yeah. But I had so much fun shopping. It was so fun. Otherwise, I would have left the booth, but we were really constantly busy. You were I, so busy. Yeah, at 4 o'clock on Saturday, I was like shot. And I said to Mary, uh, Marion across the way, I said, can I go? She's like, no. 
<laughs> so we had to close at five, but on Sunday it, it was like busier in the morning and then slowed down. And then Tad had to leave, so we had to have him help me break down the tent because that was fun. Andre and I had no idea. <laughs> it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. It was. But um, the setting up and Andre helped me a ton, so thank God. I was lucky because I, I wouldn't know how to set up a tent. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> next year we're going to have a whole, it's going to be a whole month. Oh, we're excited. It'll be fun. But anyway. So Hello. Hold on. Pink peony. Kahunas. I guess the computer is Yeah. Yeah. For Miriam, hold on. Give me one second, guys. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to make it. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. So what? Just the whole information again of the shawl. This is called Dabble Sunlight. Cool. And my name is Jennifer Weisman, and I have a store in Ravelry. And I also should tell you it's reverse So that's kind Ooh, of nice. even better. Love it. You know I what? I'm thinking I'm gonna get yarn for it right now. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Same. <laughs> like, look at all this marinated. Okay. Look at it, all the colors here, guys. Like, look at those. Like, look at this one. This is my favorite one right now. Right? Tank can? Oh my gosh. I need it. I should grab it and then Oh, look at this one. Sunday Times. Ooh. Oh, I love this speckled. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh, look at this one. It's fairy tale. It's really nice. What you got there? I am going to fade, not a full-on fade, a partial fade. Oh, gotcha. What kind of fade? Um, the which fade which faded sweater is it, or no, is it the so faded sweater? No. Is it fade away? Cool. No, I don't know. There's so many fades. I can't figure it out. But gotcha. one of the fades. All right. I'm just gonna shoot. Another purple. Stunning. 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 Oh my God! They look really nice. It's gonna be awesome. Now we have to figure 
which is which. Anything. Fake, fake glorious fake. And I think that should be its title, given how long it took me to find my fake. She I found her fake. Put it in. Yes. Hi. Oh. Get um, Sarah's Sarah Mon. beautiful. Hi, Sarah. So this is my new uh, design. It's not quite out yet. Can you show us the entire shawl? Yes. Uh, Ooh. Similar to brioche, but it's not brioche. Oh, that looks Christine nice. said faux brioche. Faux brioche, gotcha. Much easier. Like, look at that. That looks really nice. And it's kind of like fading. Oh, if so, if you can go from how much yarn do you need? You need about 360 grams. Gotcha. Okay. So is it a good, um, pretty much stash buster? It's a great stash buster. Oh, All right. A lot of Madeline Tosh. Yeah. The shop, right? And the pattern will be out maybe in about a week. Wow. It's going to be Island Trail. Island, Island Trail. And where can we find you? Trail. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's very cool. Look at that. So that. Sarah Monte Handits. Oh, I know, I know. I got it. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. Now I have something new. I'm never going to make a sweater because I'm just going to keep knitting shawls. I know. I'm excited as well. Oh my goodness. Shawls. All the shawls. I am in. Yes. Hi. Somebody's really excited about their big kahuna right now. Hello. That's the bottom. Hey. Here. Oh my goodness. Hi guys. Yay. I have Meredith with Look, us. Look, it's Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Hello. 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 We're just walking around the festival. Well, we. Uh, she, that's her favorite color of the Chelsea Lux. I um, did not get to walk around the festival because I'm in the booth. But they walk around. Oh my gosh. The sheep. The sheep. I went to visit our friend Marion. Oh, Marion from Mary Trinkles. What did you get? Are we going to do like an unboxing? <laughs> I can do an unboxing. Ooh. And it has so fun. What's it supposed to come up on my needles? Oh, I love it. It looks like the swancho. It looks like the swancho, the needle chip I had to get it so I'd have it for my swancho. I love it. So much fun. Oh, look at little bag. That's his kid Trinkles. That's so cute. It's so fun. I know. We can say we can say hi to that. Yeah. Hi Max. I feel like about being here. There's so much to learn and do and spinning and rug cooking. So not you guys see the in the in the front. Oh yeah. What's the thing we learned? No stepping. So you wrap your yarn around it. You don't need a winder, but you're doing it by hand and it takes longer. But and the part and you get it gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, it's like a cake thing. So you're not working with a block. But yeah. She, she did explain how to do it, yes. That sounds cool. Yeah. We that might was have very cool. We might have to go there. We might have to go there. This booth is not done. Did you? <laughs> the booth isn't dying down, so no, I unfortunately... Not here. I had a, this is great. I, had a, I was in camel mode for a while because I really had to go to the bathroom. Oh, no. I went to the porta potty I had white. Get so it away from me. Get so it good. away from me. Get it's it away from me. I went to the porta potty I had white. Get it away from me. TMI, TMI. <laughs> we like to overshare. Yeah, we do. And people recognize yes, it. How weird yes, is we that? Have people oh, so strange. Like walking around with her, it's like she's like a celebrity. I'm like, please, please, people. One at a time. So much fun. <laughs> Wait, they love it. They're, someone was like, oh my god, I just read, I just met Red Bank Mike. <laughs> it's like the Beatles. <laughs> And I was dying. I was like, babe, where are you? Where are you? So That's funny. so funny. And then I'm following Piper now, yes, yes, girling yes. on Carla. Yes. Oh, and hi. she's like, oh! Oh, there's Angela. We had a celebrity, celebrity sighting. sighting. Yeah. yeah, we had. We did. Fan girl. <laughs> Fan girl. Fan girl moment. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>
you're not going to be able to see actually because they're so small. Yeah, but I'll put pictures below. This is, look oh, at this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that I it? haven't seen any of these yet because I said, that's beautiful. What is it? It's a, a shawl, shawl pin, pin that's from stunning. Spindle Cat Designs. She helped me set up the tent. Did she way. help? Yeah. She was lovely. She said she was five years she into this. She was She's good. absolutely lovely. <laughs> she it's was a so beautiful, nice. one of a kind shawl pin. I believe it is bronze. Beautiful. And I'm so excited because I have been all shawls for a couple years now. So a great pin to put them on with is awesome. And then because you know I like a bargain. I was drawn to the yarn bowls at oh, Vincent got one. the Rogue Artisans. They had uh, pottery and woodcraft you, there. You really beautiful um, bowls. They had, and they were really great. They had gorgeous priced. bowls. Great. They were beautiful price, but I didn't really need a bowl. <gasps> what is that? Look at this. That's beautiful. I thought does Sharon I could... have one of those things? She like doesn't she... have one. I should probably Did give you show her one. Her that? She hasn't seen them yet. Oh, she'll because I was she'll saving the that. unboxing for here. Oh, it's beautiful. They had a bin of these little random things, which I thought would be good for holding stitch markers while you're working. Oh, cute. To pick them out of. So I bought I love this it. one. And of course, you can't get just one because they're kind of like potato chips. And oh. look at me. I'm like, Ooh, what, what, <laughs> what else is in there? What else? What do you have? Let's see. Oh my gosh. And I got this one. Oh, oh it's, that's beautiful. It's a leaf, but the veins in the leaf, the detail is just gorgeous. That's really beautiful. I guess I could put more stitch markers. I didn't even go and see there. him. And then uh -oh, there's one more kicking around in here. And this one I thought was just so much fun. It's a fish. Oh, isn't that so cute? Yeah. So cute. I'm so bummed I didn't make it over there. Well, if you want one, you can take one. Oh, no, I'm not. Well, I don't Thank need you. three. No. How many stitch I'll markers do you think I have? Year. Or I could look online on Etsy. They don't have an Etsy shop. I have their card. They have an email address. Oh, okay. And then they had these oh. little bookmarks with just the little cat detail. That is adorable. I guess it's done, is it done with a lathe or something. But so detailed, so cute. Just a That's little bookmark. That's beautiful. So that was my haul from Rogue Artisans. And that was a lot of fun. And now I'm embarrassed because <laughs> I can't remember where I bought this. What is it? It is Moth Be Gone. So it's lavender, cedar. It's a little spray. I don't remember. Uh, I don't, I didn't see, see, well, not that I got to walk around much, but. See. There's a lot going on here. I think, yeah, it came from the spinnery from okay. Frenchtown, New Jersey. And she had some interesting things. She had lavender, she had different lavender products, but I thought this would be good. Yeah. Because you don't want to take the chance no. of moths getting into your stash. It's happened to me before and it's devastating. <laughs> yeah. And then you mentioned our friend Mary. Yes. Marion, who would never I love appear that color. in video. No, we got her. In, no, well, we can't. We can't put her in. The we video. can't put her in there. Yeah. She would not like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe her yarns, because they're so gorgeous. So I have two skeins of her scrumptious fingering weight. The colorway is dapple, dapple rim. rim, which I See, love. I know the colorways. And I was so excited <laughs> because she had these beautiful patterns on display, Ooh. and I'm going to make the dappled. Sunlight. Ooh, I didn't see that. You didn't see that? Did you meet no. Jennifer? Jennifer no. Weissman? Uh, she was in Marion's booth? Jennifer Weissman, Where the designer, I? I across the way. I don't know how you missed her. Oh, I, it was crazy. I, it was yeah, crazy. I didn't. Jennifer oh, Weissman, I the designer, this. was there. I missed this. And she had four different patterns oh, that Marion had yarn for. I didn't so see it. I got this. I got to meet and talk to Jennifer. And Marion gave away the pattern if you bought the yarn. Aww. So I have the pattern to make the dappled sunlight, nice. which I'm really excited That'd about. That would be fun. So I love her Projects. yarn. Projects. Another project, because I don't have enough of those. And I'm upset because in the booth next to you, I got a little stitch marker holder, just a little plastic mm -hmm. box. And then one of those little plastic... You have them here too, and I know I bought a couple no, of yours as well. Yeah. But um, the, this the, was a different color different. though. This was pink. You don't have any pink left. I know. The, the little thingy when you flip yeah. it open. I, I, ordered, I have more coming. Yeah, more so coming. So maybe if there's a pink one, you could just take it if you lost it. I didn't know it. I think nice it's at home. She didn't like us very much. You know, I was kind of disappointed <laughs> because I was. She was really mean to us. She, was, she didn't like us, but it's okay. 
I was disappointed in the sock blockers. You know, I've been coveting oh, sock blockers. Toad Hollow got them. I didn't like so much. Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see I didn't them. Think, I want something like really special. Yeah. Right back. These were very thin. They were like the balsa wood. I was not mm -mm. really impressed. There's so a I Canadian company that um, people uh, talk about that I read, of, like, used to read, uh, Instagram, I don't remember the name. I have it, but he always sells out, so it's sort of mm -hmm. like those. I'll have to see if I yeah. can track him down. I'll look in my, in my so stuff. So that, and I can't believe, I went to Katrinkle's. Mm -hmm. We were in her booth, and she had these adorable little wooden stitch markers. And you left them home. I did leave them home. I'm so upset. They looked, it was like a little, little poncho. Fire. So cute. With the color work at the neck, which reminded me of the swancho. Yeah. So I had gotten them to use for my swancho. I forgot them at home. And Katie is so lovely. I she love had her. those little, um, the little wooden tips, like the, the Kitchener directions, yes. and make one left, uh -huh. make one right. And I had buyer's remorse when I got home because I didn't buy one. I went on her Etsy shop and they weren't listed there. So I messaged her. She'll send it to you. She's she messaged so nice. me back in like minutes. Yeah, she's And awesome. said, oh, I haven't put them in the shop yet, but if you want to order, just tell me what you want. Mm -hmm. Three days later, I had them. It was crazy how fast she was. And she's I'm so, so excited. Cute. She's lovely. So there was a lull, I guess, on her end, but my booth was, my barn was busy. So... She left, and then I guess I said, you know what, I'm going to go over, I want to see Katrinkle. So I leave, I, I gave Ted the swipe thing, it was scary, <laughs> and Andre was in the booth with him, and I left, and I don't remember if I took the camera or not, I can't remember, I might have. I leave, I go, and Andre texts me, she's in my booth. Oh no. So she bought two skeins of yarn, uh, the Lux, for her Sunset Highway. So I said that's so funny because when I came back, she was in her booth. So we we but, missed yeah it. we missed each other. So I was in her booth and she was in my booth at the same time. It was cute. So that on Sunday she wrote that she was winding the Chelsea Lux and I said I'm coming now. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> okay, see so you guys is here. Mm -hmm. Speaking yeah. of Chelsea Lux, that's what is, you picked up. This is my show. last item. My last unboxing item, and I am so excited. As you know, I have not found my fade, but I now have my Free Your Fade. Free Your Fade. Free Your Fade is another um, Andrea Mowry pattern. This one only requires three skeins. You mm -hmm. could do more than three if you want it. So I was drawn to this. This is Chelsea Lux. The colorway is Lily Pad, and I really like that. And I put Cheryl with an S to work for mm -hmm. me. Like, what am I going to do with this? I want to do something. And she suggested that I go love for that color. the olive rustic. Twist. Yeah, I love that. In olive twist to pick up the green that's in there. And I really like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not a green person. No, it's not a green, though. It's not like a Sharon green. It's more, yeah. yeah. And then this. Yes. So I'm really, really excited. I, I, I haven't worked with the rustic, so I'm excited for we'll that. We'll link it below. And we'll I can't wait photos. to get started. You got a nice haul. I know, I did. I had a lot of fun. See, if I work next year, I won't be able to get yeah. so much. So or I can fun. work and you can go yeah, off and shop. I could shop. I, it was so fun meeting everyone. Someone's phone's ringing. Oops, we're popular here. It was so fun meeting everyone. Um, I got to, Whoa. people came to my booth my husband is answering the phone, excuse me, <laughs> while the podcast is on. Oh my God. I love it. You can't make it up. It's no. so much fun. Yeah. So I did get to get out. I, I got to get out. I, I um, Next to us, I went to Shirsty, Shirsty Cat, what's her name? The uh, one you Spindle got, Cat. Like, Spindle Cat. I went to her and she was sold out of most of the stuff because I didn't get to go until Sunday. So I was bummed out, but directly across from us, I saw a lot of people from Red Rope Farm, and I got the Skin Healing Balm and Orange Patchouli. So oh, I love patchouli. I'm like a hippie at heart. I oh love my it. gosh, that's great. <laughs> I love it. It smelled, it smelled really nice. And then this, of course, I tried. It was like Healing Balm. I'm a sucker for all this stuff. I love that stuff. So that was from Red Rope Farm, and then. The, I finally got to meet um, uh, the Hope's favorite things. 
she and all um, they had a. Did you see the spinner set up in the in yes. the front? Her shop. I'm dying to go. I'm definitely going to go. On her bag, she had a feather bird that just said hope, and she rubber stamped each bag. It was unbelievable. Oh. She actually, th she had hand spun that was on an antique bobbin, and I'm kicking myself that I didn't buy it. It was beautiful hand spun, but I was like, oh, should I buy it? Should I not? I buy these things, and I never knit because I never have the time, and I really wanted it. But I managed to grab some of her. Um, yeah, that's gorgeous. Uh, fiber. And then they were all wearing these, and there she she this girl makes them for her, and it's sterling silver. It's Ginny Lou, and it's um, you pull your fiber. It's a diz. So for all you spinners out there, I yeah, got nothing. Yeah, I'm looking puzzled. So <laughs> you have the the oh okay. So you pull the fiber through here. And it dizzes it. it is it, that like drafting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It drafts it. It's gorgeous. But this that is, is it's, it's hammered beautiful. aluminum. It's, is it sterling silver or hammered aluminum? I think it's hammered aluminum. My mom bought one too, but it's gorgeous. That's a I want to go to her shop and um, sit and spin. She's on Instagram. Uh, a bunch of them bought some Chelsea Lux Rustic and they're making a shawl and I'm so jealous because I want to knit it too. Um, let's see. I don't the remember shawl? the... It's really, really cute. Um, where is it? It is... Oh, what is the name of it? Uh... I'm sorry. I'll put it down, but that's what it looks like. I'll put oh, the name of it down. Beautiful. Yes, Robin from Sit and Spins, and I buy her tiddly bits. Okay. So I'll link that below too. I have a photo of mine. I'm obsessed. I haven't used them, but she you just hoard makes them little balls. They're so cute. I hoard them. Yeah. They're adorable. So she makes little packets, and then she sells them on Instagram, and then they sell out in like five minutes. But. She, they're little pre-drafted little okay. balls. Her spinning, she actually won at the show. She won. Her spinning is amazing. I think she came in first. She came in first place. It was great. I mean, it was so nice to meet her and all these girls. So it was, it was fun. I'd love to take a road trip out there. Maybe we should go. We could go. That would be fun. We could film on location. Oh, totally. They were so nice. She wants me to do a trunk show at the, at the shop. So oh, that would be fun. That would be fun. So maybe we could just go. Because. And bring my wheel and stuff. They were so nice. It was so. It was I could bring really my drop cute. spindle and pretend I'm doing you something. You can. You mm -hmm. could just make. <laughs> Is it in the corner? What's the drop spindle? Yeah. It'd be great. You know what? So that's all I got. Okay. Well, I gotta tell you. Yeah. I finally figured out what those things are with the four horns. What four horns? Did you see the fluffy things with the four horns? Yeah. Horns? What is that? Was that? That's a sheep. I swore it was a fancy goat. It's a they Jacob. They look like sheep. Jacob. Jacob. Yes. yes. He was, <laughs> I videotaped him a little. <laughs> but so mean. funny. He was mean. Like, he looked mean. They. I think it's the horns. Having is that those horns is? makes them a little scary looking. They, they look, look like some scary. sort of like mutant goat. And yeah, it's like, they oh. did. They did. They oh. totally did. But they're so. They're I cute. Kept, I forgot that I wasn't looking at the camera for a long <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, we haven't done so that. I'm Hi there. We're sorry. You're still there. You didn't leave us. Someone at the shop yesterday said. We were talking, just rambling on, and someone's like, I feel like I'm watching the podcast, but you're not. What were we talking about? We were talking about turning this into a clubhouse where you yes, just. Yes. Oh, yeah, we were talking about closing fee. Chelsea Yarns and just paying a monthly fee and coming and sit in it. Come hang out. Because, <laughs> like, I feel like I'm watching the podcast. I'm like, yeah, it's the same thing. This is what we this do. This is what we do. I did take a little video clip of Sharon yesterday. She was a riot. I know. She oh had everything God. set up her office. She's trying to knit the Tegna. Oh Those my first gosh. few rows are brutal, so it's crazy. As far as knitting is concerned, I haven't done anything. I might have knit 10 rows on my Tegna yesterday. I whipped out my Penguano. Can we see it? Is it we down the bottom? It. Let's take a look. Are we you close? See. I think if you're I'm close, you should close. just... I mean, I am close, but... Oh my gosh. That it's looks sort great. Of, it's sort of close. Sort of, kind of. So you're working on the front now. Clothes. Yeah, I'm working on the other, the right front. So you've got the left front done. I have the left front done. So what do you need after the, the right, right front? The right front, and then the shoulders and okay. the sleeves. You're almost there. Yeah. 
I love this. I love. I really should finish it. it. It probably will have moths before I'm done. I can <laughs> spray it with my lavender yeah. spray. Be fine. I got it. Don't worry. I got so, you. And you swatched. I started swatching. Swancho. I started swatching on your for signatures. the swatcho on my signature. In the round, like I'm fancy so pants. With. I know. It's Miss all, Fancy Pants. It's all puckery here. I don't know who I'm kidding with this. And I didn't get to finish my swatch. I was so full of myself yesterday. It's full. I just want to knit everything in sight. And I'm telling Christina, okay, I'm going to go home and I'm going to finish the Delphinia. I'm going to swatch for right. my swan show. I'm going to get the giraffe together so it'll be ready for the podcast. Yeah. And we're going to knit. We, we were supposed we're to make cast socks. on. Oh, yeah. We're we were make supposed socks. to cast on <laughs> socks today for, I don't know, because we're knitting the, the Clark socks. We... Well, we haven't cast it on yet. We haven't done that yet because we have to make a pair of socks before we... I have to make a pair before I try the Clark socks. Oh, no, you have a vomit going on in there. I have have a clip. I have... uh (laughs) Uh-oh. What's in your bag, Christina? Uh Uh-oh. What's in there? Oh, just one lip gloss today, so we're good. You're cutting back? Yeah, I know that I have an obscene amount of pens... Okay. And lip glosses in my handbag. Okay. It's crazy. See, I never keep pens in my knitting bag. That makes me uncomfortable. Pencils. I'm I do the mechanical pencils. It's crazy. So, um. But we were going to cast on with Candy Toad. Yep. From last year's collaboration with the ladies Toad of Hollow. Toad Hollow. Mm-hmm. There was so much fun bag. sitting next to them. It was awesome. Sitting next to them. Us being next to them. We were laughing. We oh had so many laughs. I was at one point. I couldn't even breathe. I was laughing so hard. They are so funny. Yeah. Um, we were just making. We were teasing Marion because we were talking about dying and winging it. And oh, it was just. And a she rock. is so. She is so like <laughs> I by the book. She's like I. Can, I was looking at skeins for her, and I said, she said, I can't dye that anymore, and I said, why? She said, oh, I lost the recipe. I can't find the recipe. I said, so? I said, wing it. She said, what? I can't wing it. Well, we were hysterical. Oh, my God. Mary Beth and I, and and, oh, my God, and Helen and I were hysterical. So we want to make up T-shirts that say, just wing it, (laughs) Marianne. That would be great. I love Marianne. She's She's in Utah now? Or is her stuff in Utah? No, I think she went to Utah with it. I can't imagine going to Utah after after doing that. The, I, I'm still tired from last week, and I'm such a baby. And I was just shopping, and I was worn out. I was just sorry. I was just looking to make sure it was we still, still filming. Yeah, that's we're good. still filming. And I know that Mary Beth and Helen had a little bit of a disaster. So you just told me this yes, morning. Yes, I, I guess they were that. on their way to another show of some sort, and they had the car all oh. loaded and ready to go, and it wouldn't start. That's terrible. And when they called AAA to come and help them, it wasn't the battery, so they were stuck and had to unload everything. That's terrible. And lost the day of sales. And you know what? They have the cutest kitchen towels Do, oh, in I their saw shop. on Did Instagram. Yeah, really, they, really cute. I went on. They are absolutely adorable. Really cute. I'm definitely going to have to order some. Yeah. The hipster some. towels. Yeah, they're, they're really, really cute. cute. We just said that in sync. Again. Oh, oh my oh, God. No. <laughs> Filmed and then um, this is on our iPhone, so sorry for the. Um, is it filming? Yeah, it's filming. I think it's filming. But sorry for the change in color. But our camera gets e- internally too hot and then shuts down. We it's, are it's, such it's hot stuff. Or yeah. maybe we're a hot mess. I'm not sure. I think which. hot mess is more <laughs> like it because the other camera is terrible. I have a really fancy sh- schmancy camera. And I'm using the Sony, the small little Sony, and it shuts down when it gets too hot. So who knows? So now I'm using my phone because the other one is, the lighting's not great. So uh, anyway, we're, we're going to finish up because last yeah. week we didn't say bye. And we, we sorry. So, so <laughs> we have new Mrs. Crosby. This is a DK weight and it's lovely. It's soft. It's squishy. The colors are great. So this is a great one, and you know oh, I'm obsessed. Yeah, we got a huge delivery Oops. of pom poms. Huge. I think I got like forty. We're keeping track this year to find out how many we sold last year. We we went through so many. It was ridiculous. I know. And I'm but already these, eyeballing. These are my favorite with the um, the multi. Yeah, I love them. So much fun. They'll be great on mixers too. They're really nice, and they have the snaps on the bottom. I love them. I love this baby pink. <sighs> Teresa bought. Um, the new wool folk colors. She did. Make a with, the pink. with the pink hat. Oh, that'll be great. Beautiful. See, I am a big fan of this one. 
The raccoon. The raccoon looking one. That. Unfortunately, Harley's a big fan of that one too. Like so that. I have to Didn't watch. Didn't he eat yours last yeah, year? Yeah, he did. It's all slobbery and matted together. I want to make he's just such a an awesome hat. I found this pattern. Look at that. Oh. It's Kobuck by Caitlin Hunter. I actually think this is better than our camera. You think so? As long as it doesn't fall off. Well, it's looking a little every, shaky right now. Because, Ted, you can't shake the um, camera, the table. He's winding his kahunas. So, not really, but he's, he's, he's screwed doing up kahuna prep. So, when he moves, this gets all screwy. But this pattern is Kobuck by Caitlin Hunter. Isn't it gorgeous? It is. So she uses DK weight with a little bit of mohair. So of course I was thinking, how about the new mohair that we have? You know, with I one of these crossed over. Frames. I just realized this is DK. this is wool and silk. Yeah, I did not. Oh, it's really nice. It is really nice. Yeah, <laughs> skein. He's like, okay, He's really are you cute. done yet? You need to play with me. He's really cute. But anyway, oh and. We have a ginormous, it's bigger than my head. Is it bigger than my head? I think it may be. It, it's bigger than It's really head. huge. It's bigger than your head. Uh, maybe not. A, a lot of hair going on, I'm not yeah. so sure. It's ginormous. I think it's how many yards is it, Red Bank? 2,200. 2,200. And wow. change. And change. But we haven't asked him to sell it yet. So, Or he, we've been begging him to sell it and he won't. No, that's mine. It's his. <laughs> oh, and look at the cute pin Miriam got me. It's a picture of drop stitches and it says not perfect. It's so cute. I love it to put on my new bag. I can't wait to see your new bag. Which one? The, the, the yellow one. The oh, well, I didn't get it yet. I so know. technically I didn't get it yet, but, but yeah. Yeah. I know you'll have it. Andre might be getting me a present, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, yeah, she, yeah, we'll see. I have a lot of euros saved, so I promised to give her some euros to get me a bag but that'll be perfect i'm so excited but anyway so thanks so much for watching i could like lean on this like look you can it's it's good <laughs> and solid you really are. it's really squishy okay can i just say yeah, how much I love yes the you really do love them i do love them out here more than i thought that i would and Sharon and I will be fighting over it. Well, don't get it on your shirt because then Jody can't say, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you, you did the whole the, podcast and with fuzzy fuzz. Boobs. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much for watching. Yes, thanks for watching. And this is episode eight. Oh. Seven. 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 <laughs> okay, it's seven. We're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Any out?